Hey guys, it is 13 with another episode, and I am exactly where I left off. And I am on my quest to find the gold chest, a ET, so French for and, um, the heart, uh, crystal. I was gonna say container again, but this is not Zelda. So, there we go. Um, once I find that, I might decide to summon the Eye of Cthulhu if it's still nighttime, which I doubt. So, if it's daytime, which it probably will be, I guess I will decide to extend my house so the other guides can finally move in because I think, like, I unlocked, or like, I've done the th requirements to unlock th at least three. Um, I think so. Especially, like, I know for sure the, the dem, what is it called, the demolition NPC. I did a nice stutter there, by the way. Um, maybe the old man, because I've probably seen, holy crap, three flying stars right there. That's amazing. Um, I probably found a dungeon before, which is a requirement for the old man. And maybe someone else, but I forget who. I forget, sorry. Anyway, I am making my journey to the jungle with my fasty boots, which is really convenient. But it's like in Mario Bros. 3, where you have to have your P meter to the max in order to f f like fly or do that super jump. So. I have to have like a long runway. <laughs> and I just found a lot of falling stars so I can make another mana crystal, which is amazing. Alright, so I just put this here. And now I have 20 more mana. Sweet. So now I can. Oh, wait, I should probably put that here then. Now I can use my magic mirror instead of dying. <laughs> I need some moon glow plants, which I didn't see yet, but I am at the beginning of the jungle of after all. Hopefully there's some around though. And it doesn't look like it. And as you can see my P power is full, so I could run. And I think that's where I died, yeah, there's thirty one silver. And I have seventy five, wow. And that is some life I could have picked up instead of dying, but you know, I didn't. Because I'm a genius. Okay, so. I'm just gonna check with something over here first for a second. Maybe, yeah, I'll kill these things and then I promise I will find that heart container and gold chest. But I just really wanna kill these piranhas because. I want a hook. But I'm not getting it. I wanna make. A grappling hook, which is gonna make my traveling, especially uphill, or like up a cliff, or tunnel, or whatever, a lot easier. I don't know what to throw. Decisions, decisions, I'll throw out the door. If, actually, the door was a lot of wood, and last time I ran out of wood, and I just won't throw that out because I don't feel like I need to. I can throw something else out without caring. Um, could throw out the mushrooms. But there should be something else. Yeah, the sand blocks. But do I want the sand? No, I don't need sand. I know where to get it anyway. And that jungle bat is really annoying. Thank you. All right, I'll just eat one of these actually. It's for shits. And I will pwn this guy. Think of using bomb, but um, it's probably not even gonna hit him because I suck at aiming these things because they roll everywhere, like right there. I'll kill these things though. Hopefully, nope, not even close. How about this time? Nope. Well, that's cute. 
And I am screwed. I have to go like this now. Oh, shit. There we go. And I am on 1 HP, or 16 technically, but 1 heart. And I have 14 seconds left, so I need to be really careful right now. Okay, play it safe. You're all good. You're all good. Oh shit, a bad, a bad, a bad, a bad. Get out of here, get out of here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Damn, it only did 50. I don't have any healing potions, I only have lessers now. Damn it. You are so annoying, Mr. Mr. Bat. There we go. And you? Don't think you're off the hook. You're the most annoying one here. There, and you're dead now. You may resort to violence. You should be ashamed. Uh -oh. Dude, I've killed hundreds of you. Just, just give up, man. You got nothing on me, bro. Oh shit, but that guy definitely has something on me. Don't die, don't die, don't die. I'm so scared. I don't know, <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. There's some more. Please drop health. Please drop health. You did it. You're an asshole. Over coins, of course. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Just breathe. You're out here. You're good. Don't worry about it. Okay. Thank God. Boom, baby. Okay. I'm just destroying all my torches for no reason. Okay. Chest. Okay. Silver. Okay. Boomerang. That might be helpful now, so I'll use it, I guess. I have no room for anything! Okay, I need this for sure. Iron skin. That would be really helpful right now, actually. I'll use that. Okay. And I need a boomerang. Okay, I don't need the chair right now. What's this? It just looks okay. It just looks cool, but it's nothing. Okay. So, this isn't where the chest was. Or was it? Because there's a thing over here. Yes, it was. I remember this now. Because that's where I killed that one guy. And it's over here. Okay. This is familiar now. Thank god. Well, it turns out I wasn't recording. Again. Like, I don't know why I do that by accident sometimes. Because there's a freaking red number that appears when I'm recording and it's yellow when I'm not so I don't know why I didn't notice but what basically happened was I uh, did my classic 13 where I fell from a very high height fell into the water right on top of a gold chest and it is the same one I was looking for but it was just kind of funny how that happened again unfortunately you guys couldn't see that because I'm an idiot and I didn't record but I kind of died <laughs> by these crazy bees that I saw at the end of last episode so and I lost some gold so I'm really mad about that so I'm gonna run there do some double o sorry double o seven like secret spy crazy missions and just Hopefully, if all goes well, and it probably won't, <laughs> I will be able to extract the heart piece, or container, yeah, no, crystal, the gold chest, I probably won't be able to hammer the gold chest out, because I will get gangbanged, because there's two bugs on a rope, <laughs> if I uh, can call them that, I guess that's their nickname, because I don't know their real name, to be honest. Um... There's two of those, and then there's a couple bees that are really strong. I did one damage to them with my pickaxe, which is gold, so it's not that weak. And they poison me and hit hard. So, this could be seen as a suicide mission, but isn't every single James Bond movie a freaking suicide mission? Like, how does he survive that? You know what I'm saying? 
So, if I have the attitude of James Bond in one of his movies, I think I can pull this off. My freaking speedy boots are just make me fly. Except, uh, okay, there you go. I didn't see one of these purple slimes in a while, actually. Okay, so I'm in the jungle. Run through the jungle. I'm just gonna do a renaissance mission or whatever you want to call it. Go behind enemy lines, extract the information, and leave undetected. Probably not though. And I will be able to use my magic mirror and frickin' oh. Okay. And I will use my double jump to my advantage to prevent me from dying from fall damage. Holy crap, how is a green- oh, it's a jungle slime? No wonder I was getting pwned by them. I'm like, really? Green slime doing like 16s and stuff? Okay, so... I am approaching my mission, and if I die, go on without me. Well, since somehow my ending was corrupted, and I guess it's for the best because, let's just say it wasn't PG-13. Let's uh, add some uh, famous no's from Lord of the Rings and I think Star Wars. Here's an epic preview of next episode. And if you like my shit, give it a thumbs up Favorite and subscribe, motherfucker.